let's take a look at how to assemble a liquid demountable cell with wedge windows. Now with wedge windows, we're gonna have a thick and a thin side. So when assembling the cell, we need to make sure we go from thin to thick and thick to thin. And in between, we're gonna have our spacer. If you don't orient these windows properly, what you're gonna find is your cell's gonna leak and you may still see a fringing pattern. And lastly, once the windows have a time to orient themselves, you're gonna notice you probably are gonna have a little bit of a rattle in your demountable cell once it's assembled. So let's take a look at how I assembled my demountable cell. To assemble the cell, start with your needle plate with the alignment caps installed. First, you're going to set your drilled window, make sure the holes are over the O-rings and you catch the alignment filaments. Next up is our spacer. Lay your spacer down. And next we have to stack the drilled window. And I've scored with a Sharpie on the edge of my drilled window, a line, so I had thick aligned with thin. To complete the cell, we're going to take the back plate and drop it over the cell. We're gonna make sure this slot is aligned with that pin. It's a little tricky and takes a little patience. Now once your cell is aligned, you can still see the o-rings on the back side and be sure that your drilled holes are still over the o-rings and once you've assembled the cell flip it and remove your alignment caps add your teflon o-ring the x is a little spacer and then add your cap on and tighten that down and once it's tightened give your cell a little shake to see if you can hear any of those windows rattling and if you don't your cell is now ready to use. So thanks for watching this week and we'll see you next time.